guys what's up welcome back to my channel so I'm gonna just get right into it today is the first video numero uno of my wash and go series so throughout this video I'm gonna be showing you dolls what I use how I use it to get this wash and go and this is actually day three hair and as you can see we chilling over here we still define day three curls still going strong so I'll also be uploading a new week in the life of my hair showing you guys how I preserve my wash and go throughout the week so make sure you're subscribed hit that bell so you don't miss that video and I think that's it I'm ready to get into this tutorial I hope y'all are cuz I am are you ready cuz I'm ready you ready I'm ready okay let's go so of course on freshly washed hair as usual I already washed deep conditioned and put my hair in four twists and I'm just gonna go through each twist pretty much and that's gonna really help make this wash and go even easier so I'm just gonna go through each twist shingle do a little bit of raking and yeah instead of doing each side at a time I'm gonna ping pong between sides so I'm gonna shingle this and then I'm gonna shingle this then I'm gonna shingle here and then here and so on and so forth I finally 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 found a leave-in conditioner that mixes well with this gel all right let me rewind so i'm gonna be using the new palmer's flaxseed gel that i featured in my last video i used it on a perm rod set it was good it wasn't great but i felt like it would be way better on a wash and go which is why we're here today i tried leave-in after leave-in and even when i did my perm rod set i still had like clumps of white because my leave-in did not mix perfectly with this gel but i finally found a leave-in that mixes well and it's my Long A Naturals Tangle and Twist Rescue Detangling Spray, which can be used as a leave-in conditioning spray. So I mixed these on the back of my hand and it was perfect. So this is the leave-in that I'm gonna be using today. Take my leave-in. So I'm gonna take some of my gel. I also learned from the last video that I definitely need a lot of this product. It's pretty light, so I am going to be very generous with this product. I really hate these fuzzies that I have. It's like, it looks like breakage, but I've had it for years. I don't know what this is. I don't know. With all the hair growth that I've had from chin all the way to tailbone length, I've never been able to get rid of this. So weird. And then I'm just gonna take random strands and just shingle. I'm pretty much gonna do the same thing and this is it. You guys have seen me do a wash and go before. If you're new to this channel and you haven't seen me do a wash and go before, I have a few videos on it. But I always rake the product and then shingle it into my hair for maximum definition. So I'm just gonna be doing the same thing to each twist. Shingle. What the hell just happened? Now, if you see me doing this, I am not doing anything special. This is just my way of pretty much shingling with one hand instead of taking both hands and doing this over and over. I just like to use one hand to save time so that while I'm doing this, I can hold the other section and then just shingle that real quick with one hand. And the sections that you're doing don't have to be super tiny. So like this right here, that's really really small and you could definitely shingle more than that but you don't want them too big either so i'm not going to take like this whole section and shingle it as one so 
I think something like this is a good enough size to shingle. These twists really do make everything easier, especially with shingling. Shingling is already tedious, tedious, tedious enough. <laughs> <laughs> tedious enough on your hair. It's just too tedious to not already have your hair like sectioned off and ready to go. Just turned on your avenue, I had to. You always say I got an attitude. Just turned on your avenue, I had to, but I'm mad at you, yeah. You always say I got an attitude, oh. But that's you, you was acting rude. I had to ask you if you had a few. This is looking so good, so good. No product compared to product. Like this is definitely giving me some good definition right now. It looks like it's about to go down outside. What time is it? It's five, it looks like it's nine o'clock right now. It's like getting dark in here too. All right, so this is it. Hopefully you guys can see because this thunderstorm that's on the way is really messing with my lighting. Feeling the definition. Look at that, this is nice and defined. So I will let this air dry and I'll be back before I go to bed and sleep on this. So this is a serious question right now. It's about to rain outside. I was supposed to go grocery shopping hours ago, but of course I procrastinate and decided to do my hair first. But I still need to go outside and go grocery shopping because your girl is making a mac and cheese, some salmon, and a veggie medley on the side. But yeah, it's about to rain, so can your hair get frizzy in the rain if it's already wet? Can it? Can it? So I actually decided to be bold and go outside in the pouring rain with a fresh wash and go. It doesn't seem like it's frizzing much, thankfully, but we'll see. I'm getting ready to head upstairs, so we'll see if this held up. And that's it, so comment below and let me know what y'all think. I also want y'all to let me know what wash and go combos you guys wanna see me try next. I already have a few I've been cooking up, but I really wanna know what other wash and go combos or products that you wanna see me try. So maybe there's some products and you're not sure if it'll mix well, or maybe you peeped that new styler at Target and you didn't wanna spend your money until you knew for sure it was a go. So let me know in the comments and let's get this series going. I'm ready, we got one down and so many more to go. I love you dolls so much and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs> Will I fly? Hey, God. Hey. That was on the same phone. Everybody talking like they know something these days. Niggas acting woke, but they broke. Um. I respect the struggle, but you all fine these days. Man, they barely old enough to drive. I am feeling this. Bitch, I'm a P. Bitch, I'm a G. Took that little bitch, not that bitch off the leash. Lately, they know something. It was just a recipe for disaster. So. Oh, I got some in my mouth. Oh. Towards death. The fuck is that? Shit! Shit flying in my mouth. These things do not taste as good as they smell. Ooh, I have to pee so bad, but I don't want to get up until I finish my hair. I can do it. Ooh, I gotta pee, I gotta pee so bad. Ooh.